Welcome to Rhinos and Aliens. My thing is, like, if we know we're going to get married and we have to just save longer to get married. It, but what if you're, like, a way, nomad? The still there. You don't have a personal home. You found your love. Y'all, like, let's say it you're traveling have to be expensive, all the though. time. You travel all the time. Let's say that. But it's it, a wedding is a celebration. It doesn't have to have a monetary value. It could be literally us sitting on the fucking beach and there we go. We're, we're yeah. married. Like, we're celebrating with our family and boom, let me eat a hot dog. Like, it could be simple as that. I mean, for some people, I guess. people are... I mean, like, it depends on the mindset of a person, but yeah, I guess. This is but a celebration. for a woman, like, I'm not saying y'all, I'm saying in general, a woman's mindset, they want something big. They It's just natural. For a fact. Yeah. They, they want the white dress. They want to walk down the aisle. It's just natural. But I'm saying you don't have to. Yeah. I mean, I feel like at some point you have to, there, I, I feel like you can't be married and not have a celebration for it. Well, yeah. But get some champagne. This is the question. If you really love somebody, do you have to get married? No. Okay, what's your answer? Yes. Mm. <laughs> you you lost me on that one. <laughs> you I feel me. like there's no bigger commitment than uh, there's no bigger like but form of love than that's it, literally just paperwork. I mean, it, it is, is like, but it's like to some like so. If we're in this and you're telling me there's no getting out of it, it's till death do us part. I mean, not that that paper means anything, but it's like the fact that you're willing to put everything you have on the line, as well as I am. We're putting everything we have on the line. That is the ultimate sacrifice right there. But what if I told you marriage is just a, a, fi- it's just a financial thing? Yeah, f- government. I mean, it, it purely is. I, I completely agree. Marriage is a sham, but... But you still believe in it. Yes. What type of shit? Right. <laughs> it's sacrifice. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sacrifice. You can the sacrifice ultimate form is like, just I mean, the if, if, forever. Okay, so like, if, well, say, I don't know if there is another culture that treats marriage like this, but like, say there is, and it's like, we get married, there's no legal documents or anything, but in whatever society we live in, if we no longer work out, there has to be, some, there has to be something on the line. You're not sacrificing anything to be with me. No, I mean, it's like, what are you sacrificing? Your peace of mind? Yeah, but even when people are married, they still don't give a fuck. I know, in fact, I know people are more likely to cheat in marriages than in single relationships because mm. it's harder to, to get out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if anything, that goes against your argument. I mean, it doesn't, though, because it's like it's sacrifice. If you're married to me, I mean, just because but, people do it doesn't make it You're right. thinking from a female perspective. A man, when he the moment he gets married... He's thinking, oh, shit, I'm locked down. But he's also thinking, oh, shit, now she has to go through all of this. Especially if he signs a prenup, he's not losing anything. And now we have to go through all this bullshit just to leave each other. So now if he really doesn't want to be with the woman, he's just going to cheat on the side. I mean, I mean, I mean, I guess it depends on the person. But it's like me personally, I'm never signing a prenup. Brittany, like, I'm again. <laughs> Brittany, like, I, shit, yeah. we gonna get this shit. Brittany, <laughs> there's a sacrifice. I mean, it'd be the same. I'm not asking. I could be a millionaire right now, and if I'm going to get married to someone, I'm not gonna get a prenup. There's no point. But what if he's not a millionaire? Like, what if he's just a $100,000 man? I 100% believe in marriage. I, she gonna pull up. I believe. Miss Mike, I, Miss I mean, Mike. Call me what you want me. Okay. I'm, I'm a hopeless like, romantic, assets, I guess. Okay. But it's, I believe in love. It's, there's no there's no part of me that believes I'm going to get married to you. I do not love you. I would not put my life on the line for it. So, I'm a hopeless romantic, too. I just don't believe in a document or a word should not have to... Should not be the representation of your love. Correct. Yes. I feel you. I mean, I understand. But I, I respect you're not, you're being consistent with your arguments. So I respect that. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand your guys' point. It's just that, like, personally, I know. That's cool beans. Yeah. I would I would need to be married at some you point. Need, you need paperwork? Yes. No. I don't want to get married. I don't care if it's paperwork. I, I don't care for none of that, honestly. If I got a bond with you and I, we both have a mutual understanding and stuff like that. Because if shit go left, I could leave. Freely, I can do my own shit, or we can find a mutual understanding of what we could do together to actually kind of progress our relationship. But I, I, nah, that that marriage shit is for the birds. <laughs> for the cuckoo, cuckoo, tweet, 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 tweet. tweet. <laughs> shit. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, uh, marriage. I, I never like lately with this. Like, as soon as I turn twenty one, to I can't just think of marriage. So I, I have a question can't. for you all then. I'm not against it. I just don't. 
then That's then, then what's the it. point of defining a relationship? What's the point of you being my boyfriend if there's no if there's no marriage? There's no difference between being a boyfriend and a husband. Oh, what's the point of being in a relationship? Point. Right. <laughs> that shit hit me in the heart. <laughs> there's no point in claiming someone as your own if you're gonna disown the whole idea of marriage because you only have boyfriend because it's not husband. Are you religious? Eh. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Right. How is your? I believe in some sort of a higher power i just don't know how strong it is in any specific religion how were you raised i was raised in church i mean you mean like and what about your parents they're married christian okay and are they a big supporter of marriage i i mean i would assume i don't i've never really like well the reason why i'm asking because i feel your concept is wrapped is shaped by society what if you grew up in a society where none of that existed like, what if we were hunters and gatherers? Marriage didn't fucking exist, exist back then. Marriage yeah, is a privilege. Bonds with, like... That is true. Ring, like, the wood strings. The wood string. Yeah, like, for real. But, right, I, but that's, that's, that's my point. It's like, <laughs> you had... I mean, like like I said, the, the whole point of, like, going to the court and everything is completely whatever. Financial. It's this... The fact of claiming yeah, someone <laughs> as my husband is completely different. It's like, you have... I guess, I guess my point is the title change... Like I don't know if, cause like you said, like the, the point of marriage is completely financial. It's literally government wise, but yeah. religious. It was to make people feel bad if they cheated. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like I feel like personally, I can't define our relationship without. But those, that's that's weird. That I mean, it but, is, but it's like I, I just like, don't understand the point. That's of, like saying you can't be with a man who doesn't say he loves you, but you can feel that he loves you. His action. What if he doesn't believe in that word, but he, but you, he makes you feel like no other person. You might end up leaving or not being with the love of your life just because of one simple thing. I can't be with the love of my life if he's not willing to love me the way I need to be loved. But he does. He just doesn't he say just it. Doesn't he say doesn't. It. If if part of me requires, if part of me requ- listen, if part of me requires words of affirmation and you cannot give that to me, how are you loving me the way I need to be loved? How? I'm not a person that say I love you all the time. But how can you so love me know. the way I need to be loved if I'm if I'm asking for something? By showing it. But that's not how I receive love. How do you? It's the I, I you literally just, just had. I go this. back to like actions is louder than words. I'm showing you rather than telling you. Break. No, 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 no. Actions is you what? willing to learn the person that you're trying to be with. It's the same way kids learn. If a kid needs to learn how to do something hands on, I need to sit here and build this Lego building to be able to build a building. I, I can't sit here and you can't you can teach me two plus two is four all day on the screen, but unless I write it down and do one, two, three, four, I have no fucking clue that that's four. Uh, I would say some mathematicians would disagree with that statement. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 but I'm saying though, it's like if I have to learn hands on, then oh, okay, I can't learn what, what are you telling me. What if you fell in love with a scientist and he is so unbiased that he says love does not exist in in the process that you think of so he's never going to say i love you because he knows so then he can't love me the way i need to be loved if you're not willing love is all about sacrifice again it's willing to change for the person you try to no 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 relationships are about sacrifice love is non it's it's emotional love is it you can't put it in Love you can't really express in words. Yes, you can. No, you, you, can, you can. No, you, you can, cannot. You can express. <laughs> listen, no, listen, 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 listen. I love Jamia, right? Why do you love her? J- because she makes me feel safe. She makes me feel. That's an emotion. It, you feel it, safe around her. Feel, 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 feel. If I feel that way, because I take in information this way, if she tells me, "Oh, that was great. That's a great job you just did." That's how I receive the information. That's how I know I'm doing. That's how that's just how I receive things. It's like if you will never Tell know. Doing a great job. Doing a great job over there. Okay. <laughs> no, you're doing great. But that's how I receive information. It's like I can't. How do you feel love? Like if if you if you're gonna how how do you feel love? By actions. So explain the actions. What actions make you feel loved? It's different for everybody, though. Everybody. Exactly. So if I'm going to be Donnie's partner, I have to know how he feels loved. Mm. 
Nope. Okay. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to say, oh, really? <laughs> Just a friendly reminder, guys. Hit the subscribe button in this corner. And then for the newest video. Then for the most recommended. And then for our famous dick pic. <laughs>